Jujitsu Kaisen season two. Let me tell you, we started reacting to this man, and I gotta say, this is probably one, if not like the best seasons in anime, in my at least personal favorites of all time. I don't know about you. I don't think it's in my top three, but it's definitely in top ten. It's I, good. It's it's, very good. it's easily up there in my top three, bro. Like, there's so much to talk about, and unfortunately, we had to put a halt on our reactions because of copyright issues. And I didn't want to deal with it, but we got it all figured out now. We I'm. Had, we had to come back for the final episode. We had to we come had back to for the final least, episode. At least for the final episode. Exactly. And I want to talk about everything at the very end of the video, kind of our thoughts and everything. So stick around till the end if you want to check that out. If you were here from like the very first reaction with yeah, us, like five months ago, because that's when the season started that's actually crazy to think that it was like that mm, long yeah dude it's been a while like this was like prime like right when we almost started the channel it was like a couple months in but i'm super excited and i am ready i think i'm ready you think you're ready. i think i'm ready i i don't know i've been trying to stay away from spoilers so i'm excited yeah, to see pretty, it's been pretty like impossible to stay away from spoilers this season but that is true. I mean, literally everywhere people yeah, post it's, stuff. Yeah, it's impossible. If you guys are excited as well, make sure to leave a like on this video. Subscribe to the page if you aren't subscribed yet. Drop a comment down below on what we should react to next. I also got my mom reacting to all of Jujutsu Kaisen, so if you want to check that out, make sure to hit the playlist right above or after the video. And also, before this video starts, make sure to go to Ice Tea Aesthetics. All right, we just got our sponsor. Okay. Uh, got this cool, uh, Sukuna shirt. Uh, a whole bunch of shirts, hoodies, sweatshirts. Like, look at this right here. I mean, you can get the freaking bunny. That's 2B, bro. I didn't even know that was 2B. Is that 2B? Two oh, B. that is 2B. Eric has the 2B shirt, yeah, bro. Yeah, so you can get some lewd anime waifu shirt. You get regular Chainsaw Man. Got JJK. Chainsaw Man, got JJK. You got, got everything. Piece, JoJo merch, Bleach merch, Berserk merch. Like, this right here. They Let's just added a Fate Stay Night and Dragon Ball collabs. And yeah, honestly, up darling Yu-Gi-Oh. I actually haven't Hunter even Hunter. I haven't checked out much of these. I want to yeah. check them out after the video. If you use our link down in the description below, you get I believe 10 or 15% off on your next order. Use code ANIME. All caps. All caps. Check it out. Each sale also gives us a little bit of share of revenue as a thank you. It supports the channel and maybe we can get more giveaways out to you with yeah. more purchases. Now I say we get into some jujitsu yeah, cuz. Let's get it. Let's get it. Gotta listen to it one more time, bro. Yeah, the final time. The final time. It has been a trip, bro. Like, yeah, let me tell you, it's like, I love it, and I'm so sad at the same time. I, it was just crazy at the beginning of the season. I'm like, wow, this is a cool intro. I didn't understand any of it. Mm -hmm. And now you understand now, but now, everything. Now you can see all the foreshadowing and... Honestly, I was not. I honestly was not expecting half the shit to happen this season. No, I didn't. I didn't think all this was gonna happen, like at all. And honestly, Mojito, suck it like a. Did you see that? Yep. They added that in yep. too. That's new. Look at the fucking hole, bro. That's a bleached opening if I've ever seen one. <laughs> That's a pre-bleach. It's still black, bro. No bleached in there yet. It wasn't enough bleach. Yeah, I'm ready for this bitch to pop off. I'm hoping she does, bro. <clears throat> I heard she's OP. I heard she's like in like the top three or something. That's right. She had the whole conversation with Ghetto at the yeah. beginning. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's the thing. It's not Ghetto anymore. Yeah. So I wonder how it like knows about their conversation. That dude from the fucking movie. Mm -hmm. He has eyes peep. Yep. <laughs> I hope Panda doesn't die, bro. <laughs> if it happens at the very end, I'm gonna be so sad. Is he gonna use Uzumaki again? <laughs> oh shit. So since he is sword Mahito, he has all of its powers? Mm-hmm, because he ate the, the, the ball of energy. 
I see. Ah, shit. Is that Megumi's mm -hmm. sister? Yeah. Oh, fuck. Malevolent kitchen. Poison? <laughs> Are we all? <clears throat> Oh, fuck. You just pull the plug like that? <laughs> it's actually right, bro. This whole Shibuya incident was all at night. Mm -hmm. Like, we didn't see sunlight at all. Yeah. In Tokyo's economy, bro, just mm, yeah, fucking tank. This is the music from the beginning. Oh my god. Holy crap! This is like some Iron Legend type shit, bro. Literally. Like, it's just empty, bro. I mean, shit, everybody dying around outside. I mean, might as well just get some grub. Yeah, Fuck it. Not? Munch. That's some Kraken type of shit. Oh shit! Oh, it's oh, him! Shit. Fuck you, yes, dude! My favorite oh, fucking shit. character! Yuta Watanabe, bro! Yuta Watanabe! What the fuck has he been, bro? He's Literally! <laughs> what the fuck? Everybody's dying and shit? <laughs> huh? He still has Rika? What? <laughs> that thing got obliterated. <laughs> Holy <gasps> shit. And they've got Rayquaza and shit. That's kind of badass, I'm not gonna lie. This shit's so sick. Tengen.
いたとりでいいんじゃないこういうふうな顔しますおいつこれはもう完全に Special grade sorcerer Yuta. He's Yuji's executioner. Oh, damn. What the fuck?、Dude. You're telling me Yuta comes back just to be the executioner? Just to be the, for... the bad guy. <laughs> fuck, dude! I like you! I like you t o u g h dude! Oh, it's a scar? Mm hmm. It's time to talk a little bit, alright? It's time to talk, alright? So, you're telling me at the very end of the season, Gojo becomes basically exiled from Jujutsu High or whatever, and basically, if anybody that goes and tries to free him will be sentenced to death. Yep. You're telling me Yuji's like, death sentence is now withdrawn and now he's being like. Put up to death by Yuta. You're telling me that fucking guy from the very beginning of the show, guy with like all the fucking teddy bears and shit,、mm -hmm. that guy's being sentenced to death. So, like, what now? Is Yuji just on the run or like. Well, he doesn't really have anyone anymore. He doesn't have anybody, bro. He doesn't have Gojo. I don't know. They didn't talk about Megami or Nova. Nova is probably dead. Megami is up in the air, in my opinion. I mean, we、right. haven't seen anything. There was no word with Megumi. That's why I, I don't think Megumi's、oh, dead. I really haven't seen him for like fucking. It, it's been a while since Maharaga or whatever. Yeah, since Maharaga and the Sukuna fight. Yeah, and that's the thing. Nobody said anything about him, so I don't think he's dead. I don't think so. But Nobara, I mean, when you get your fucking eye socket blown out, I mean, you're, you've got to be dead. That honestly was a really good finale, though. I think it was good. I think even though there wasn't much action, I think it set up something big. And I am so excited for season three. It sucks that we had to wait all season to see Yuta at the end. Like, I wish we saw Yuta during the、yeah. season two. Because I love Yuta. Yuta's like probably one of my favorite characters in JJK. I know, I never really cared too much about him. I love the movie though. I, mean, I thought the movie was good, but I still, it didn't make me really care about Yuta that much. I mean, that's fair. That's fair. I still, Yuji is still the main character for me. I don't.、Mm -hmm. Yuta, I mean, he just shows up out of nowhere. It's like, where, where, where the fuck have you been? Which I'm sure they'll explain, probably. Well, I think in the movie they claim that Yuta is like almost on par with like Gojo's level、mm -hmm. or some shit. At least from what I remember. Well, he's a special grade sorcerer right now. Yeah. I don't know what, like, especially at the end with Yuji doing the clap and then spawning things, what the fuck does that mean? Yeah, like, he's like Aaron Yeager now. Also, I have no idea. we never really talked about this too, but what about, like, when he was walking in that snow? Was it just, like, a visual thing, or do you think it could have been, like, a domain expansion yeah, or something? It was just a visual thing.、Though. You think? I, dude, I don't fucking know. Because I, I remember seeing that, but I. We never really talked about it. Well, I could see it being like a kind of domain expansion, but I'm, the thing about the domain expansion is they haven't really explained them that well. Well, they haven't explained them like in depth.、So、and we, we don't know, we don't if, know if, if like Yuji even has well, one. Usually, every, every domain expansion we've seen, they've had to say domain expansion. Yeah. So I don't think it was because he would have had to s a y I think he would have, have had、point. to use a technique or use,、yeah. like, say something, you know? Yeah, no, you have a point. I, I think it was just like a visual metaphor type thing. Season two is done. I think it's time we give our full thoughts. What do you think is your favorite battle of the so, whole so season? So, my favorite battle, I think, is the、uh, Sukuna Maharaga fight. 
Sakuna Magaraga. Okay. But there's so many good ones. Like the Yuji and Choso fight was really good. Literally every every battle was good. Like, what about Jogo and Sakuna? Even that was badass. I fucking I loved that one. The animation was good. I liked the it was just all around good. I think all the battles were good. There was not like a single bad battle where I was like, "This is boring." They were all entertaining. Yeah, the animation was good. Obviously, most of this wasn't even finished. My favorite scene is when Sukuna popped up right by Panda and what's the other guy's name? I don't know. I kick kick it's some of the K. I don't know. I but when he popped up like right between them, he said, "Nobody move." Yeah. To me, that was the coldest fucking moment in anime, and I love that scene. Like, I thought that was yeah. super badass. But to me, my favorite fight has to be Choso versus Yuji yeah, was, in yeah, the bathroom. I, I yeah. thought, especially with how, like, small, like, the space was yeah, and yeah. how, like, Lots well the animators, like, yeah. detailed, mm -hmm. like, drew everything. And you could fucking tell exactly what was going on. Yeah. I thought it was completely badass. Yeah. And not saying anything against the Jogo and Sukuna. To me, that's like a close second. That's why, like, I think that scene with Sukuna popping up right by Panda is like up there and probably like my favorite. But for my fight, I have to do, I have to do Chozo, mm -hmm. Yuji. That was just so fucking sick. Yeah. My favorite scene from the Maharaga fight was probably when when Sukuna uses domain expansion and that yeah. dude, that motherfucker just walks through it like nothing happened because his domain expansion just deletes shit. Like, literally, just control alt deletes everything, and he just walks through it like nothing. I, and I was like, dude, what the fuck? I also, so badass. I also forget about the fucking Toji and Gojo fight from the beginning, bro. That yeah, was. That was good, but it definitely. That one was so good. I enjoyed the. I, I liked that fight, but I think the. When Gojo pulled up in the fucking subway station, I think that mm -hmm. was way better. Just the fact that he, he pulled up the Hanami like that and just grabbed him and then like pushed him against the yep. wall with just his energy. He was just walking. That was yeah. so And sick, he looked bro. insane. He, he looked, looked insane psychotic. on that. He looks psychotic. And the fact that he just killed him with his like pressure, that was badass. Honestly, bro, overall, if I had a season, 9 out of 10 for me. Uh, for me, bro, I can't even give it a 9 out of 10. I have to give it like a fucking like 9.7, 9.8. I'm only giving 9. it a 9. 7, 9. I'm only I love this season. Because it isn't finished. To me, I would totally watch the season all the way through I again. Too. Like, it is so, so good. And like, pretty much ever after, like every episode after the Gojo past art, Mm -hmm. It just got better and better. Like, there yeah. was not a single bad episode, and then mm -hmm. the next episode just did better. There's just more... Like, wow, this, this episode was a banger. Let's, yeah. There's no way they can overdo it, you know, outdo it next week. And then and the next, next week, comes, and you're, you're like, like, holy shit. Can't outdo it next yeah, week. It's just it's crazier just... and crazier every episode. Well, the thing is, for Jujutsu Kaisen, I, I remember season one, but I kind of don't. Like, it's very vague to me. Like, it's yeah. almost forgettable. Yeah. And it's like, I remember certain things, but I can't remember scenes. And to me, I always thought of Jujutsu Kaisen being good, but not like my favorite. Probably just in maybe like, maybe like almost to the my top 10, but not in my top 10. After this, this is going up to like my top three. Like, I think this season did an excellent job of making me like a Jujutsu Kaisen fan yeah. overall. And I think just everything about it was just so good. Until next time, guys. Catch you in the next one. Peace. Peace.